Hallelujah. We give all the glory to Almighty God. Beloved, he has given us a break. It is him alone. He control life. So this morning, he has given us a light and we are still breathing. So beloved, let us pray. Almighty Jehovah, King of Kings, everlasting God, you are so good. This morning, you have given us a breath for your children around the whole world. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, it is by your mercies that we are still alive. Lord God Almighty, you are so good. You are so wonderful. With you, all things are possible. It is you alone that control life. So this morning, may your name be praised. May your name be exalted. Unto thee, O Lord, with you, all things are possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Master Jesus. We give you all the glory because you deserve to be glorified. In your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord that we have a breath. This morning, he is so good. He has given us a word. And without wasting time, we will read the scripture. The title of the message is Christ is the healer. Jesus is Jehovah Rapha. Hallelujah. Beloved, healing, every living person need a healing. So far as this body will get sick or will have a disease, about healing, it can be spiritual or physical. So beloved, let us read the scripture. That is Exodus 15 and the verse is 26. Let's hear the word of God. And he said, if you diligently hear the voice of the Lord, your God, and do what is right in his sight. Give ear to his commandments and keep his statutes. I will put none of this disease on you, which I have brought unto the Egyptian. For I am the Lord who healeth you. Hallelujah. Beloved, God was telling the Israelites that he will put a disease on them. So beloved, let's hear. God told the Israelites that he will put disease on the Egyptians. The reason was number one, they did not believe or they were disobedient to God Almighty. Two, they were serving other gods. And as we know, our God is a jealous God. Three, God wanted to punish them with diseases. And four, due to the bad heart, the Lord's power is to heal everybody of his creation. In this form, we have two spiritual we have two forms, the spiritual healing and the physical healing. We continue. We will read another scripture, which is Psalm 103. Let's hear the word of God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, 
and forget not his benefits. Three, for forgive all your iniquity, who heal all your diseases. Hallelujah. Beloved, it is him alone who can heal any kind of disease free of charge and it is permanent. This aspect of spiritual healing is a form of human being is to be blessed the Lord with his or her soul and also to sacrifice by means of supporting God ministry with the intention of declaring our sins unto the Lord. Hallelujah. God heal our diseases spiritually by having divine encounter with the Holy Spirit. Oh, we give him all the glory. What a savior. I want to sing a song to glorify him. And the song goes like this. He is able, he is able to deliver. He is able, he is able to deliver. Man, he is able to deliver. Mamazaya is able oh, to deliver. He is able, he is able to deliver. Hallelujah. He is able, he is able to deliver. Mamazaya is able. To deliver, Mama Zaya is able, oh, to deliver. Hallelujah. He alone can do it because he's God. He created you and I, and he created this body. So when something is wrong, he alone can heal us. So beloved, let us trust him. Let us depend upon him. He is a healer. He has done it over and over. We give him all his glory. Beloved, let us continue. Let us read Jeremiah 3 and the verse is 22. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 3, 22, he says, return you back slide children and I will heal your backsliding. Indeed, we do come to you for you are the Lord, our God. Beloved, it doesn't matter. When you call upon him, he will hear you. When you are sick, Anytime you call upon the Lord, he will hear you. So that's why he's saying in Jeremiah, he said, you backslide. Call upon him. He is a healer. He knows you. He created you. So beloved, he is telling us. Here in Jeremiah 3.22, over here, the word of God, is telling us we must return to God for backsliding and he will hear our land, our soul, our body. Unnecessary backsliding from God generates various kinds of diseases. So it is necessary for all of us to return to our maker for healing because he is the healer. Hallelujah. Oh, King of glory. 
we thank you because you can do it for your children because you created us. Beloved, let us continue. We are reading 1 Peter 2.24. Let's hear the word. 1 Peter 2.24. He says, Who himself bore our sin in his own body on the tree that we, having dead to sin, might live for righteousness. By those stripes, you were healed. It is by his tribe. We are healed. Same thing in Isaiah 53 and the verse is five. It says, by his tribe, we are healed. What a lovely father. What a, a master. Oh, we give him all the glory. He paid the price for you and I on the cross because of our sin. So this morning, he is telling us, he bear for us. Let us see what First Peter 3 is saying. It is so important to live a righteous life for we are in him as he is in us. So it is necessary for us to live like him so that healing will be our portion as his people. Oh, thank you, covenanted God. Thank you, miracle working God. You alone is worthy to be praised and thanked. For this morning, you have given us a word, healing every soul need healing because this body might get sick or there might be a disease. So we have to run onto you because you are the healer. We thank you for your word this morning. We give you all your glory because you are the ancient of days. Thank you, thank you, thank you for giving us a word. May your name be praised forever and forever. God Almighty, I take all this opportunity to bless your end time servant and his family. Protect him and guide him and also his viewers. Oh, Jesus, the author of life. Bless them. What their heart desire this morning, may you, do it for them. We thank you. We magnify. We exalt you for what you have done this morning. Because this is what our soul need to hear your word. In your mighty name, I give you all the glory. Amen and amen in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>